Health Bankas, Wikipedia Audio Health Bankas, or Health Bank, is a large Turkish state-owned bank. Health Bank was incorporated in 1933 and began offering services 1938, it initially provided loan services via the People's Funds. After 1950, Health Bank was authorized to directly open branches and grant loans to customers. By the beginning of 1964, Health Bank had embarked upon an ambitious program where it increased capital and became more active by establishing a nationwide network of branches. Today it is the seventh largest bank in Turkey in terms of assets. History Health Bank was a link in the chain to finance Iranian petroleum interests in the wake of U.S.-led nuclear sanctions. In March 2012 Iran was stopped from using the international money transfer system SWIFT. Health Bank seems, between March 2012 and July 2013 while the UN sanctions regime was in place prior to the November 2013 P5 plus 1 agreement, to have purchased some $13 BN worth of gold on the open market. The sanctions prevented Iran from being paid in dollars or euros, but gold was never mentioned in the sanctions regime and therefore this loophole allowed gold to be used to fund the purchase of Iranian petroleum products. Health Bank allowed the middlemen of Iran to buy gold with their Turkish lira, and that gold found its way back to Iranian coffers. One investigation found that US$2 bn in gold bullion was flown from Turkey to Dubai in August 2012 alone. In defending its decision not to enforce its own sanctions, the Obama administration insisted that Turkey only transferred gold to private Iranian citizens. The administration argued that, as a result, this wasn't an explicit violation of its executive order. Iranian ambassador to Turkey Ali Reza Delhi recently praised Health Bank for its smart management decisions in recent years have played an important role in Iranian-Turkish relations. Health Bank stated that there were no sanctions against trading precious metals with Iran until July 1, 2013. Health Bank also had Indian accounts that in 2013 traded with Iran. India now owes Iran $5.3 billion in oil debt. India is planning to pay Iran $1 billion per month that is $12 billion annually also through Halk Bank. In December 2013 Halk Bank's CEO Suleiman Aslan was arrested and charged with taking bribes from, amongst others, Reza Zarab an Iranian Azeri businessman who had taken Turkish citizenship under the name Serif. Police reportedly discovered shoeboxes containing 4.5 million US dollar in the home of Aslan. Scores of police officials have reportedly been dismissed because their investigations made politicians uncomfortable. The chain of police command was changed so that politicians would be informed of and could frustrate, police activities. This caused an injunction to be heard in the court system, who blocked the change. A prosecutor was dismissed. The arrest, which came along with many other arrests of officials allied with then Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan, is seen as part of a power struggle between the Prime Minister and U.S. based Turkish religious leader Fethullah Gülen, who inspires Hizmet, an Islamic civil movement. Those who don't see the thief but go after those who chase the thief, may Allah bring fire to their homes, said Gülen. Oya Ozarslan, of the corruption watchdog Transparency International, is worried. Accent changes in the police forces and public prosecutors breaking out this scandal as well as the changes in the regulation of the police forces leave a number of question marks. In March 2017, 
deputy head of the bank Mehmet Hakan Attila was arrested by the U.S. government for conspiring to evade sanctions against Iran by helping Zara abuse U.S. financial institutions to engage in prohibited financial transactions that illegally funneled millions of dollars to Iran. Zarab was arrested in Miami, Florida, in March 2016. In Ankara in March 2017, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said there was no link between the Turkish request for extradition of Gulen and the arrest of Attila and that both cases would proceed in conformity with the law. Attila's trial commenced in New York City Federal Court in November 2017, with Zarab agreeing to testify after reaching a plea deal with prosecutors. According to the New York Times, the prosecution of Attila and others has sent tremors through Turkish political circles. Erdogan has sought, unsuccessfully, to persuade American officials to drop the case and the state media has been downplaying coverage of the trial. In early 2018, Attila was convicted on five of six counts against him, including bank fraud and conspiracies and acquitted on one count after four days of jury deliberation. Zarab was the prime prosecution witness in the seven days of trial testimony. Attila's sentencing is scheduled for April 2018 and the bank fraud count alone carries a maximum sentence of 30 years in prison. Seven other CO defendants are still at large. Iranian Oil Trading Controversy 2013 Corruption Investigation U.S. Conviction of Executive